The movie begins with a hijacked transatlantic airliner preparing to land at a RAF station in Scotland. As the plane is about to land, Colonel Drummond is informed that the pilot and co-pilot are presumed dead. At least one of the hijackers of the plane are on the German terrorist watch list. Drummond asks his team to contact the plane to find out about the situation on board. Suddenly, there is some activity and a parachute falls from below the plane. To their surprise, they see a boy descending down from it. Two RAF trucks quickly approach and he is quickly taken away from there. They then see someone in the cockpit and signal Drummond, telling him that if he moves, they will open fire, they tell him to step into the pilot's seat and slowly raise his hands. The man tells them he is an innocent passenger and has some information for them. Next, Drummond sends his team to speak with the youngster called Elias who is being evaluated by a doctor. The boy is in shock and is unable to tell them anything. The scene then cuts back to a day earlier where we see Elias's mother Nadia, in a hotel room getting ready for the flight. Later, she talks with her doctor in New York where they are traveling to for treatment. Elias contacts Nadia to inform her that he has checked in their luggage, we then see her arriving at the airport late at night and hugs her son, they then make their way to the waiting room and strangely, she leaves him there and goes to the bathroom before their departure. Nadia opens her medical bag and prepares a syringe with her medicine, she takes a drink from her bottle and then injects herself with the syringe. A man called Farid is on the phone in the waiting area when Elias approaches him. They begin talking and he asks where his parents are, just then, his mother arrives and we see them get onto a plane and take their seats. Next, we see the pilots and crew get ready and then the plane finally takes off bound for the United States. A few hours later, Nadia returns from the bathroom and begins writing something in her notebook. She sees an old photograph of her with her husband. She has a flashback of a night where they got stranded in the snow, her husband left them to go and find help while she waited in the car. All of a sudden, she notices some commotion at the front of the plane. One of the air marshals subdues an aggressive passenger and the second air marshal joins in to help. While the air marshals talk to the passenger, one of the crew members called 8-Ball, suddenly pulls out a knife and stabs the marshal. The passenger grabs the other man and 8-Ball demands to know where the third marshal is. He sends one of his men to take care of her and Curtis finishes her off and takes her gun. Afterwards, he makes his way back to 8-Ball and we see him murdering the surviving air marshal like a lunatic. Nadia senses that something is going on, just then, 8-Ball comes out and tells all the passengers to stay in their seat while waving a gun at them. The rest of his crew arrive and they force everyone to the back of the plane. We then see Berg knocking on the cockpit door and the co-pilot opens it, he tells them he has killed the pilot and they throw him down the hatch. All the passengers are shaken and they are told that the plane has been hijacked. Yuri, the bearded man finds the black box and reprograms it. We then see the co-pilot changing the direction of the plane. Next, Elias is very worried for his mother, he then looks at the plane's booklets and strangely, he tells her where she can hide away from the light. Curtis tells Farid to get up and move to the front of the plane, a man named Carl attempts to calm 8-Ball but suddenly, Elias jumps out of his seat and runs off. Nadia panics and she gets up and runs after him but is stopped by 8-Ball. She tells him that she just wants to find her son, without any warning, he suddenly shoots her in the stomach as the other passengers look on in horror. Elias can't believe what has just happened, he is grabbed and taken back to his seat and told to stay there. Berg then approaches 8-Ball and threatens to murder him if he tries anything like that again. He then warns the rest of the passengers that if they try anything, they will end up dead just like Nadia. The next scene shows a flashback when Nadia is waiting in the snow with her son for her husband to return. After waiting for some time, she gets out of the car and wanders into the woods following his footsteps. Nadia discovers an abandoned house and believes she will find him there. Inside the house, she notices blood on the floor and follows it down towards the basement when suddenly, a creature appears out of nowhere and chases after her. She frantically runs for her life and gets into the basement, to her horror, she finds her husband dead on the floor. Suddenly, she sees the creature trying to get into the basement from the window, as she tries to fight it off, it bites her on the hand. Just then, the sun rises and the creature is burnt alive. That's when it is revealed that she has been bitten by a vampire. Next, we see that Nadia has somehow survived and hears dogs barking in the holding area below her, 
she manages to drop down through the hatch. Meanwhile, Berg makes Farid and two other guys record a terrorist message. Back in the hold, Nadia hides under a car as Curtis and Yuri search for materials. Nadia's urges take over and we see her devour a dog. As the dog squeals, Yuri hears and goes to have a look at what the noise is. He is shocked to see Nadia crouching down with blood all over her mouth, she suddenly attacks him and finishes him off. Back upstairs, Farid walks back to his seat and sits down next to Elias to console him. Nadia realizes that she is turning into a vampire, she quickly takes out her medicine and is just about to inject herself when she hears Berg call Yuri on the radio, he tells him that there are 10 minutes to the jump. She then goes over to Yuri's body and drinks all his blood which speeds up her transformation. When the hijackers are unable to contact Yuri, they go looking for him. They are shocked to find his dead body with a dog looking over him. Nadia set the dog free and Berg thinks the dog killed him. While the hijackers are busy downstairs, Nadia makes her way up and finds her son, the other passengers are shocked to see her alive and don't understand what is going on. When Nadia and Elias arrive at the cockpit, the pilots are not there, she asks if anyone on board can fly a plane, one man tells her that he can and quickly follows her back there. We then see Farid warning and telling the other passengers about what he read in the statement, as he makes his way towards the cockpit, Nadia shuts the door. Meanwhile, the hijackers put on their equipment and prepare to jump, Berg speaks with someone who is going to pick them up. Back in the cockpit, Nadia sees the hijackers on the security monitors, she tells the man to leave the plane on autopilot until the hijackers leave the plane. Elias is worried as his mother continues to transform into a vampire. Eight Ball realizes that something is wrong and they all make their way back up. They discover that Nadia is still alive and hiding in the cockpit. She gets angry with the man and tells him to turn around the plane immediately. The hijackers realize that the plane is changing course. Berg threatens to kill a passenger and shoots him. He tells Nadia that they will continue to kill people until she opens the door, 8-Ball goes to get another passenger, the psychopath discovers a young girl and delivers her to Berg. But before he can shoot the girl, Nadia runs out of the cockpit and attacks him. She bites him on the neck which terrifies the rest of the hijackers. The man in the cockpit closes and locks the door again with Elias inside. Nadia finishes drinking Berg's blood and then chases the others back to the hold. Berg begins to turn, and when Nadia hears this, she returns to kill him, 8-Ball sees everything and takes her luggage and returns to the other hijackers. Meanwhile, Nadia goes to the restroom and is shocked by the way that she looks. 8-Ball tells the others what he saw and confirms that she is a vampire. Carl thinks he is crazy and doesn't know what to believe. He flashes a UV light in his face and tells him he knows how to kill her. We then see Nadia in the restroom injecting herself when she has another flashback. Nadia struggles to feed herself while caring for Elias as a baby. She gets angry and hisses at him, she then rushes to the bathroom to rip her fangs out so she doesn't hurt him. She then returns to the house where she was bitten. There she is confronted by the father of the vampire that bit her. He tells her that his son could not control his urges. Suddenly, he tries shooting her telling her that they are all cursed. Back on the plane, Eight Ball and the others discuss what to do next. Carl persuades Bastian that their only hope is to get back into the cockpit and get back on course. Suddenly, we see Elias get out of the cockpit and make a run for it, he rushes to the restroom to get his mother but just then, the hijackers come back up. Nadia is weak but she makes it onto her feet and makes her way to Eight Ball, as she gets closer, he burns her with the UV light and she falls onto the floor. Eight Ball discovers a syringe and fills it with her blood, just when he is about to finish her off with a stake, Elias appears and threatens him with a revolver. Eight Ball walks over slowly and reaches for the gun, a bullet goes off and suddenly, everyone finds it difficult to breathe because of the pressure. Bastion informs the others that they only have 10 minutes of oxygen left and must lower the plane. Next, the man inside the cockpit can no longer hold the door and passes out due to the pressure dropping. The hijackers re-enter and take back control of the plane. Meanwhile, Nadia goes after 8-Ball and finds him hiding inside a car, she tries shooting him but the glass is bulletproof. We then see 8-Ball injecting himself with her blood and he begins turning. Nadia realizes what he is trying to do and quickly gets some matches and alcohol and returns to the car. She pours it inside and sets him on fire. 
The plane finally stabilizes, but the hijackers see a fire in the hold, they go down and shoot at Nadia, all the passengers begin to panic and run towards the front of the plane. The hijackers find 8-Ball in the car and he is still alive, suddenly he attacks Curtis and drinks his blood, Nadia locks the whole door. The other passengers are afraid of her and want to kill her. Farid tells them not to hurt her and she tells them they can't allow the hijackers back upstairs. Nadia runs down the other end of the plane and tries to hold the door, 8-Ball manages to get through and bites Farid on the hand. Suddenly one of the passengers comes with a gun and shoots him. Next, Curtis has now fully changed and tries to get back into the plane from below, Nadia has no choice and we see her chop off Farid's hand to block the spread to the rest of his body. They then return to the passengers and locate Bastion, she tells him to find the nearest airport to land because they are out of fuel. The pilot receives a signal from the nearby RAF airbase, he informs them that they have been hijacked, but they are control of the situation now. Next, one of the dying passengers goes down and asks 8-Ball to bite him as it is the only way he will survive. 8-Ball pushes past him and begins attacking the passengers on the plane. Pandemonium breaks out and all the passengers rush towards the cockpit. Nadia tells them that they can't land the plane as all the vampires on board would escape onto land. They decide instead to blow the plane up. They then make their way over to the fuel tank to set up the explosive but discover that they have a detonator but no timer. Nadia tells them that she will blow it up after everyone has left the plane. Elias pleads with his mother and tells her that he needs her. He decides to rush down to the holding area with a UV light to try and find the hijacker's timer. He manages to avoid the vampires but is taken by surprise, he accidentally drops the UV light. Meanwhile Elias is just about to be torn apart by the vampires when 8-Ball hears him. He is just about to attack him when Nadia appears. They get into a struggle and just when it looks like 8-Ball has the upper hand, Elias blows open the holding door and she pushes 8-Ball out. Somehow he hangs on and tries making his way back onto the plane, Farid sees what is going on from the cockpit and turns the plane on its side, 8-Ball is exposed to the sun and he is burnt alive. Elias then feeds his mother his own blood, she awakens and has the urge to feed on her own son. We are then taken back to the present and we see Elias asking about Farid, he begs the translator to help him. None of them believe him and they assume that Farid is the hijacker, when he tells them that there are vampires on board, they sedate him. Drummond then tells his men to wait while the rest of the passengers are finished off by the vampires. The army continues to speak with Farid and try to persuade him to hand himself over, when he pleads with them to listen, they don't believe him. Next, the army storm the plane just before he can blow it up. The soldiers are completely oblivious to what awaits them. As Elias is being taken away in the ambulance, he somehow manages to inject the paramedic and jumps out the back door. He grabs his teddy bear and runs back towards the plane. All the soldiers are wiped out one by one by the vampires. When Elias arrives near the plane, he sees his mother feeding on a soldier and screams out to her. Elias realizes that his mother has completely turned and she doesn't recognize him anymore. With his last bit of energy, he blows up the plane as Drummond and his men watch on in horror. In the last scene, we see Farid who has made his way to Elias who is still alive, he embraces him and the movie ends there. You guys are awesome if you have made it this far in the video. If you want to see more of such movie recaps, hit the subscribe button to become part of our movie family.